Hi there and welcome to a horse racing explained video with me Joe Rooney from FRT Gold. Basically these videos as I'm sure many of you know by now are just a couple of minutes explaining some of the things that you might hear every day in the world of horse racing that perhaps you don't understand. We're on hand to uh, just offer a brief, brief explanation and hopefully help you understand things just a little bit better. Today what I'm going to talk about is the difference between a hurdle race and a chase race. Now you'll hear this in national hunt in jumps racing, you'll often hear um, that you know, you'll hear one race is a hurdle and one race is a chase and you might not um, realise the difference in them. Basically it's quite simple, a hurdle is a, uh, a smaller obstacle to jump than a fence is. A hurdle is um, usually sort of a, a brush um, a brush hurdle not too high at all and it's it's more of a test of, of speed of course the, the jumping does come into it but the horses here are, are mainly tests about their speed and how they can just pop over the hurdles they're not so much of a jumping test and what you'll see with hurdles is usually younger horses start off over hurdles and then perhaps go over fences which is what uh, chasers are on over there over the fences and the fence is kind of the the, um, the obstacles you'll see in races such as the Grand National and the Cheltenham Gold Cup, they're larger obstacles and they really are a test of jumping. That's where it's all about. If you can't jump all that well, then you're not going to win a, a chase. If You can sometimes get away with a couple of poor jumps in a hurdle race and still come out on top. So that's the difference there. So do always check when you're having a bet. You might see that your horse has won maybe its last four races, but they might have all come over hurdles and you might see that now it's in a chase race. So that's always something worth checking out. And as I say, usually a hurdle race is for is for younger horses or horses that possess a lot of speed and then eventually at the very highest level you know you do have top quality older horses over hurdles and a fence is usually for the the bigger horses the ones that really do jump well and um yeah that's seen as almost the pinnacle you know a, a top quality jumps horse is often judged on how they can go over a fence so that's just another betting explained video hope that that helps you remember you can head to um freeracingtips.com forward slash faqs for lots of uh betting explained and uh, more videos as well well so thanks for watching today